And I'm Georgie. And we're the A Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. couple. <laughs> so Georgie, what are we going to have today? We're making sweet Mayan burritos from Yum. Kim Campbell's cookbook. Yes. This cookbook, which we bought on our vegan mm -hmm. cruise that was sponsored by Holistic Holiday at Sea, and the Campbells were on the ship giving lectures, and Kim Campbell wrote this book, and a lot of her recipes are being used in the Plant Pure Nation Jump Starts. Yeah. Now, if you don't know about Plant Pure Nation, we suggest you go to their website, plantpurenation.com, mm -hmm. and find out about it. There's a wonderful movie that was produced by T. Colin Campbell's son, Nelson, who's married to Kim, and they're doing great work around the country, getting a lot of new people interested in plant-based eating and showing them how healthy they can be. Mm -hmm. So go find out about that. But we thank her for the recipe in here. We've adapted it a little bit to our liking, and we'll share that recipe, of course, at the end. But it's got all these good ingredients. Yeah, like it's, what? It's, got, it's got sweet potatoes. It's got black beans. We get these from our, uh, Trader Joe's or Organic. Uh, it's got, what is it got in it? Chili and ma powder. And mangoes. Mangoes. And, yeah, so you got the sweetness. Yeah, so a lot of good stuff. and Salsa. really Yeah, and so we'll be showing mm. you all those ingredients. All okay. right, well, so are you getting ready to cook? Let's get cooking. There's two, then, there's two or three steps. One is the first one is going to be the, the vegan sour cream, and then we're going to put the burritos together. And okay. then we're going to eat because we're hungry. Here yes. in Tucson, we're hungry. Okay. All right. We're here. Let's go. All right. <laughs> okay, everyone. This is step one in the sweet Mayan burrito recipe here. It's going to be vegan sour cream. We have the first ingredient is going to be one cup of silken tofu comes in a little package like this. You got to cut, cut it open. We're going to go ahead and cut that open and do this step by step. Now that does come in organic and non-organic. Yes, it of does. Of course, we bought the organic because we want to make sure we're not eating any GMO soy, which might be the non-organic. I can't say for sure. I didn't read the package, but we suggest getting organic. And this says to drain it. As you can see, I just turned it, I'm just kind of holding it in and pulling the water out. And it'll come out eventually. All right. So it has a little different consistency than the tofu that comes in the water. Okay. This is it a little calls, softer. It calls for one cup. The package is 12 ounces. So eight ounces would make a cup. So I'm going to do two thirds of this is what's just going to go in my Vitamix, just like that. Put this aside for later. Oop. Okay, the next ingredient is a half a cup of raw cashews. I soaked them for two hours to make them soft. You don't have to do it that much if you have a Vitamix, but it'd be a good idea to do it if you have just a regular old blender. I drain the water off of them. Then we have a guave syrup, organic. We get this at Costco. One teaspoon. Then we got I got fresh squeezed lemon juice here. Calls for three tablespoons. One, two. Three. And we should say Georgie does all the squeezing of those lemons, right? Builds, yes, I, up, yes, builds your muscles. It's fresh squeeze. It's <laughs> not, it's not, uh, okay. Then I have a quarter cup of water. I'm going to have one quarter teaspoon of salt, uh, sea salt. And I have to tell you on the vegan cruise we just went on, they gave everyone tons of samples of real this salt. seal, real sea salt. Okay. So we've got that now. Now all I gotta do now is blend this up. Turn it on. Now let's see how that's gonna look. Once it gets a little mixed up, I'll speed it up a little bit because you want to whip it to get it a nice con smooth consistency. I'm gonna 
scrape the sides so we get that rest of that done. Ooh, that already looks like it. It's a lot of the nuts will come up to the sides. I did that on high, what, maybe 30 seconds Let's both times? Let's see what times. it looks like. There you go. Vegan sour cream. All right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this in a bowl and chill it for an hour, and then we'll get started on the next part of this. All right, but Georgie, just let's see the back of that new t-shirt. Oh. Because <laughs> we did show it in another video, but let's look at that. So there this is go. the new t-shirt that the Happy Vegan Couple designed. Being vegans, we choose health over disease, we save animals from abuse and slaughter, we reduce global warning, mm. warming, happy vegan couple cooking videos, Facebook and YouTube, check it out! Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll All be right. right back. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go, step number two. First thing I'm going to do is peel these sweet potatoes, these are organic, it's, the recipe calls for four cups. So first thing I do is cut the ends off. Just a little knot, it's kind of too hard to do. You just take a potato peeler, just gonna peel the skin off. I usually hate taking the peel off of organic sweet potatoes because there are nutrients, but for this recipe, since the sweet potatoes are inside the burrito, we just thought that it should be peeled and uh, Kim Campbell suggested in her recipe too. So yeah, we are peeling. Should be mashed. It. Calls for four cups. Now Georgie thinks that one big sweet potato is going to be pretty much there, so we'll see if he's I right. I think this is going to be probably three cups of diced. Okay. Now let's show how he's going to dice that. Cut it in potato. half, and I do slices. You want them about half an inch thick. Straight on down, because you're gonna you're gonna make a mash out of this, like like mashed potatoes. And you don't have to make them too big. You don't want to make them too small. But let's see here. I like the stack. And of course, it helps to have a sharp knife. Mm -hmm. Our knives are about time to be sharpened. You know, Georgie, I've got to say that before I started learning so much more about plant-based eating, um, after listening to all the different doctors talk about different foods, I didn't eat sweet potatoes that often in the past. And now I'm so glad that I eat them and I've got that idea, you know, out of my head that they're fattening and I shouldn't uh -huh. eat them because I've learned that they are one of nature's most perfect foods. They just are so wonderful. They are just packed full of nutrients and fiber and everybody, if you like sweet potatoes, don't worry about eating them. They are just wonderful. Just to tell you, number four. Really? Oh my goodness. So we don't I, need... I, I kind of take the cup thing in the circumference of potato and I'll kind of do it this way. If it's about the same circumference, just do it like that. You're going to have the same amount. She and didn't I've... believe me, but it happened. I never would have thought it of happened. that. Okay, okay, I've got water boiling on the stove here on high. I'm going to put place these in there. Once it starts to boil it again, I'll turn it down to simmer because we don't want to overboil them. But they're going to be cooking while we're doing the rest. I have nine cups of water in there, by the way. And you started it on like on a high boil? Yeah, it's on a high boil. It, 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 it's off the high boil now only because I added the potatoes. But once it starts boiling again, I'll turn it down about halfway. Okay. Okay, next step is going to be I need a quarter, uh, quarter cup of onions. A red onion, and I think this is going to be about a quarter of a cup. 
And some people might be surprised we're using a red onion. Well, the recipe does call for that. Mm -hmm. And I remember Dr. Greger talking about onions and saying he tries to eat red onions as much as possible because there's more nutrients. Again, those red colors, they're better for our bodies. So uh -huh. there's just more in there than a typical yellow onion. So don't be afraid to use a red onion in cooking. Some people just think about it for like raw salads and things, but you definitely can cook with them. Okay, so I should be showing Georgie. Chopping up this. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who don't have good Call onion. for a quarter cup. Got a little bit more. Okay. There's our quarter cup. Okay, the next thing is one cup of thawed mangoes. I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of uh, chipotle chili powder, organic, uh, a, a half a teaspoon of cumin ground, one quarter cup of tamari soy sauce. I'm going to be using two cans of organic black beans. I've already taken and opened them and drained and rinsed them off, which you need to do for this recipe, otherwise it'll be too moist. Well, too salty. Too salty, too moist. Also, uh, we're gonna do the salsa on top. She, she says that it takes three cups to cover these burritos. We're gonna do it to taste. I think that'd be the best way to do it. We also have these uh, tortillas that come from uh, Mesa here in Arizona, and they're all organic whole wheat and a little bit of olive oil in them. And these are what we get for our wheat tortillas. Okay, we're gonna take a break here in a second, unless there's something I forgot, Denise. I don't well, think what's I the do. next thing you're supposed to do? Are you supposed to put uh, those together? Uh, once, once these potatoes are boiled, it's gonna take about 10 minutes. Once they're soft enough to mash, uh, we'll come back and we'll mash those up and mix it all together. Oh, okay, Georgie. Okay. Alrighty, good. <laughs> Okay, these are the potatoes. I've been boiling for about three minutes. I got it on a number seven on the boil on my stove and be another three, four minutes and they'll be done. We'll come back and mash them up. Okay, everyone, my potatoes cooked for six minutes on about three quarters of a boil. This is what they came out looking like. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a potato masher and I'm gonna mash them. I actually drain them through the colander to drain all the water out before I put them in the bowl because you don't want the liquids because it'll make it too mushy. Also, we're gonna add spinach to each one of the burritos, which is a, Denise wanted to add to it for more fiber. So let's just go ahead and mash these up. Those and that look pretty. Next step, potato mixture with the beans. You don't want to mash the beans, you want to keep them whole. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and dump the four cups of potatoes in with the beans. The one quarter cup of the red onions diced up small. The one cup of uh, thawed out mangoes. And you know, we get our frozen mango also from Costco if you mm -hmm. have one by you. It's, um, they sell, you know, a nice big bag, and so it's an affordable way to buy them. Uh, half a teaspoon of chipotle powder. Now, I will we'll warn you, it's a little spicy. Yeah, so I wanna... hope I'll be able to eat that. We did ask the uh, red pepper flakes and the jalapeno pepper that was in the recipe, because I can't eat yeah, much spicy. Yeah, it's a poblano pepper that she added in there, but we're not going to put that in. And then a uh, half a teaspoon of uh, cumin. I'm going to put in one quarter cup of tamari. And of course you can soy use soy sauce. sauce instead of tamari. The difference sure. is the soy has the wheat in it. So if you're gluten, uh, if you have a gluten issue, better for you to get the tamari. Okay, now we just mix all this up together. Let me get a, another thing here. This is what's going to go inside the burritos. Mmm. You want to be careful not to mash, not to mash the beans. You want to try to keep them whole just for the look. That's yummy. Okay. 
okay, next step, I'm gonna take, I got four, four tortillas in the uh, towel here. I do that so they don't get all hard on me. I'm gonna put them in the microwave and I'll zap them for say 20 seconds and they'll be warm enough where I can roll them. In the meantime, I'm gonna put a little bit of salsa in the bottom of the pan, like two, we'll say three tablespoons. Just mix it around. And this is an organic mild salsa, salsa again, because I can't do spicy, but do whatever kind of salsa you like. Yeah, whatever preference and flavor. I mean, there's a lot of salsas out there. Okay. Is over here. Okay, we're going to take and scoop out on each tortilla. Enough to fill them. Denise, you might need to come in a little closer. Right, you put the so spinach in you. there. Yeah, but I want to show you how to, how to, oops, I almost forgot the spinach. That was the add-on for me. Yep, I kind of figured that. You okay, know, whenever I'm going to show you kind greens, of how to roll these. To do it. These fingers down here, tuck that in. Little corner fold, one fold over. That's a substantial burrito. There you go. We have, hope we can fit four of these in this pot. And then, of course, on the outside of the burritos, we'll have more salsa and then some of the vegan sour cream. Because mm -hmm. by the time these are cooked, those that will be chilled. Try something different All with right. that first. And this looks like it's a be, it'd be a nice leftover meal for lunch or dinner the next exactly. day. Exactly. Folding over the corners like that keeps all the stuff inside. All right, that's another way of doing it, putting the spinach first, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, we'll have some leftover stuffing here that we can make some more later on. And I imagine if you wanted to eat this in corn tortillas, you could do that sure. too. Whatever your preference is. Okay, we'll put some salsa on top. You know, there is a salsa I wish I could use, but unfortunately it's not organic. It's made by a woman here in Tucson. And she sells it at the farmer's market. And I used to get it. I just loved it. It was like a fruit salsa. But then I decided I just did not want to eat those ingredients that I knew had pesticides on them, you know, okay. the tomatoes. We're going to go ahead and put this in the oven. The sour cream comes later when it's right. finished. We're going to put this in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes on 395, I believe it is. No, I'll I think it's less, check. Georgie. Is it less? I'll have to check and yeah. come back and tell you exactly what I'm putting it on. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's go All ahead right. in the oven. Good. Okay, they've been cooking about 10 minutes on 375. Be about another 13 minutes and they'll be done and we'll show you what it's gonna taste like and or look like and taste like. Okay, well here's our dinner. The burrito. It looks lovely. Vegan sour cream, a little bit of salad on the side. Oh my goodness. We're gonna do a little bit of a taste test here. And we have to admit, we didn't try this recipe before we cooked it today. So this is our real test, but it looks wonderful. Mm-hmm. Here you All go. All right. Again. Oh. <laughs> okay, mine. It's a winner. It's a winner. Delicious. And you can spice it up more Delicious. if you want. Mm. The chipotle powder that's in there is enough spice for me, mm -hmm. but some of you might want to make it more. It's an easy recipe, all those great ingredients. Thank you, Kim Campbell. Yes. And yes. for your new cookbook from Plant Pure Nation, we so appreciate all your efforts. 
So until next time, I'm Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we're the, the Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. Go plant-based. Recipe coming up. And Bye. see you next time. Yeah, see you later. Enjoy all those good foods. <laughs>